Over the last couple of weeks, we have learned a lot about what it means to be a believer or a follower of Jesus Christ. I'm going to let you in on a little secret though. Sometimes I wish that I could run away. I could run away to a little hut in the mountains and I could get rid of some of my responsibility and maybe some of the difficult people in my life and just have time to love God and read his word and pray in uninterrupted and praise and worship. It sounds blissful. And do you want to know something? That can be good. It can be beneficial for our walk with God to sometimes leave the cares of this world to fill us with God and, and his word. But if that's all we do and we stay outside the world, we are disobeying a command that Jesus himself gave while he was on earth and it can be found in Matthew 28 verse 18 and 19 and this is what it says and Jesus came and said to them all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit now, I know all you kids out there are very smart and you would know what a verb is. A verb is a doing word. And Jesus has included quite a lot of verbs in his statement. He said, go. He said, make disciples. He said, baptize them. If we are going to be obedient, Actions are required of us. Yes, praying is important. Reading the Bible is important. Going to church is important. Praise and worship is important. But we are also called to go and make disciples. If you are ever wondering what your purpose is, and what your mission in life is. This is part of it. It involves you, but don't worry. It's not actually about you. Through God's grace, we have been given good news. We know about Jesus when Jesus came to earth and his birth and his death and then his resurrection and Jesus coming to earth was the coming of God's kingdom and the whole event was allowed us to be reconciled with God and it is such good news. It is so exciting to me that event that Jesus did and it's that which I cannot keep to myself. I have to I feel compelled to tell those around me about this. I, my, not just my close family, not just my friends, not just my neighbours, but to go out and tell everyone the amazing good news of what Jesus has done. Making disciples is really just telling people the good news and helping them to become followers of Christ. It is an amazing job and it is an awesome privilege, but oh, it is a tremendous task that we have been given. It would actually be an impossible task if we were doing it by ourselves. I don't, it doesn't matter if you are the sportiest kid, the smartest kid, the artiest kid, the most musical kid, the most powerful kid. You cannot do this without, by yourself. You need the Holy Spirit. And so my prayer is that the Holy Spirit will help me to spread the good news to the nations. And actually in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, it says that the Holy Spirit actually came so that we could bear witness. God's church, the body of believers, 
is exceptionally important. And praise and worship is important. Praying is important. Reading the Bible is important. But if we just focus on those things and forget about the lost in the world, we are not fulfilling the commission that Jesus gave us. Jesus himself came to seek and save the lost. And we as his followers imitate that to spread the good news of what Jesus has done. We use our steps to then show Jesus to non-believers. In John chapter 17, verse 14 and 19, it says this, and this is actually where Jesus is praying for his disciples. What Jesus says is that we Christians are not of the world, but we are sent in to the world. Over the next couple of days, we are going to work out what that means. What does it mean to be not of the world? And what does it practically mean to be sent out in to the world? We are going to find out how we are going to fulfill the mission that Jesus commanded us to do.